Yeovil's Market is one of the suburb's biggest attractions. Until recently, it was cleaned by outside contractors, but the committee members decided to recruit a group of traders working in the market to clean it after hours. Janet Mfuka is one of the women who clean the market every night without pay. We work until 8 o'clock in the evening. Then, because there's no one to sweep the market, we can't work when it's dirty. We volunteered again to clean up. So we clean up until 9 o'clock. That's when I come home. I come from Zimbabwe, in a small town in Zimbabwe, Gwanda. Uh, things went tough. I divorced with my husband. He didn't love me anyway, and the country was going down. Everything was too much for me. I couldn't afford to look after the kids, so I had to take them to my brother because my mom had passed away. So I had to come to South Africa to try and find something to survive and look after the kids back home. It's very painful. We are, we are working hard. They promised us a, a long time that they are, they are going to give us a tender. Even now, not yet. I asked some of Yovel's residents whether they think this group of women should be paid. Yeah, basically they need to be paid. If they are not paid, they need to be paid because uh, it's very important because that will motivate them uh, to keep uh, Yovel clean. And they should get money for what they do. It's right, it's the right, they should get money because they need money to pay some school fees from their children and to do another thing, they should get money. Uh, another woman who, who was working at Yuval Market wanted a tailor, so she, she was Zimbabwean. She was asking around if I can get someone to do tailoring work for me, so I volunteered because I needed the job. I, I, I could afford to do tailoring. I'm a designer, so that's how I got the job here in Yuval Market. So we had people who were cleaning, but they were not doing the good job. The market was smelly and things, things like that, so and dirty still. And then when they asked us if we can volunteer to clean, then I decided, actually I was the first person to put my name. So actually it's not much what we are getting here, but if there is any possibility that we can get help from somewhere, that will be good. I tell God I need the money to look after those kids back in Zimbabwe. God has to bring the money. <laughs> yes. Such a long day, it keeps me alive because I don't have anything funny to do. So I come here, I'm tired, I sleep, I get home, I go back. That's life.